Hey, what's good with it, man? This is your boy Rojo, and this is the Rojo one. How y'all doing today? Now, this is a little bit older of a case. It's like three years old, but it's crazy, man. This is about when uh, five men in San Bernardino, or five men charged in the San Bernardino incident that resulted in the death of a Mexican mafia member's wife. Now, this is pretty crazy, man, so wanted to run it by you and see what y'all thought. Here we go. This is uh, from sbsun.com. Five men, police call gang members. They call them gang members. Are they? Let you decide. Have been charged in the San Bernardino shooting death of a wife of a Mexican mafia member, authorities said on Wednesday adding that the killing was orchestrated behind bars and one of the accused has since been killed behind bars. The January 18th, 2017 death of Maria del Carmen Rodriguez, 41 of North Hills, was planned by the five defendants, three of whom were in the state prison system while the plot came together, said authorities. We have not disclosed a possible motive for the killing. While the charges don't name the alleged shooter or shooters, one defendant is being charged with possession of a handgun the night of the shooting. The victim was previously identified by authorities as Carmen Gutierrez Rodriguez. The complaint filed in the case of the slaying was for the benefit at the direction of or in association with a criminal street gang and was done to further criminal conduct by gang members. It also accuses the defendants of street terrorism. The victim's husband, who is convicted armed robber, Andrew Rodriguez, is identified by police as a Mexican mafia prison gang member who died three months after her slaying at Pelican Bay State Prison on April 20th, 2017. His death remains under investigation as being suspicious, police said. On July 17th, the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office quietly filed murder charges against the five accused gang members with one, Eric Moreno, who was 30, killed just days later in his cell on Sunday in Kern Valley State Prison. Hmm. Police declined to comment Wednesday on a motive in Moreno's death. His cellmate, also from San Bernardino County, was named by prison officials as a suspect. Hmm. Imagine that, there's two guys in a cell, one of them gets killed. Hmm. Kind of Kind of going out on a whim there to name somebody as a suspect. The arrest and charges in the woman's murders, woman's murder case were the result of an investigation by a multi-agency task force formed after the slaying, San Bernardino police said in a statement. Maria del Carmen Rodriguez, a mother of five, was shot to death in a parking lot outside of a cafe in the 1600 block of North Mount Vernon Avenue. Her husband, formerly a member of the San Bernardino-based Westside Verdugo gang before being inducted into the Mexican Mafia while in prison, police said. He was serving a 115 years to life, three-strike armed robbery sentence records indicate. Besides Moreno, those charged in Maria del Carmen Rodriguez slang were Isaac Aguirre, 44, Robert Fernandez, 43, Richard Garcia, 45, and Matthew Manzano, 35. Police said Moreno, Garcia, and Manzano were in the California prisons when the slaying was planned and carried out. And the two still alive remain in prison custody. Manzano was sentenced to San Bernardino Superior Court in 2010 to two consecutive life without parole terms for the death of two men in 2005. Moreno was sentenced in San Bernardino County Superior Court to 10 years in prison on April 15th, 
or excuse me, April 22nd of 2015, on his guilty plea to possession of a firearm by a felon, as well as an enhancement of participation in a street gang, when records indicate. State prison official said Moreno's cellmate, Daniel Logan, 36, also from San Bernardino County, is the only suspect in Moreno's death. Logan was sentenced in 2017 to life without the possibility of parole for his role, along with two others, of murder, torture, and false imprisonment in a 2005 death. Garcia was sentenced to life without parole April 21st, 1998, in San Bernardino County Superior Court on a murder case, court records show. Aguirre and Fernandez are now in local custody, the police statement said. Aguirre is accused of both murder and being in a felon in possession of a handgun the night of the shooting. Court records show both men have pleaded not guilty to murder and other charges in connection with the Maria del Carmen Rodriguez slaying. Four of the men charged in the murder were identified as members of the West Side Verdugo gang, police said, while Manzano is from an unidentified Redlands area gang. Police said the gangs are obedient or submissive to the Mexican Mafia's orders from prison. The task force effort, Operation Green Hand, also resulted in 86 other arrests on suspicion of various weapons C conspiracy auto theft and narcotics charges. Those arrests were announced last year. The purpose of the task force was to target gang members in prison whom were, whom were attempting to influence the local street gangs of San Bernardino, in addition to identify those who were involved in the murder of Carmen Rodriguez, the police statement said. Agencies involved in the task force were San Bernardino Police Department Homicide, San Bernardino Sheriff, Fontana Police, FBI, the ATF, Highway Patrol, and the Department of Justice. Man, so that's interesting. That one's hard to decipher because first, a woman who was married to somebody very, very important was killed. Then, the husband, the important guy, his death is suspicious. The people who participated in the woman, one of them at least got killed in prison. They're all from the same area. It's all San Bernardino County thing. Very interesting case, man. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this one, man. This is for, this is one of those ones that my perspective is, man, who knows? Could they suspect she was cooperating? Could that have been renegade stuff? Tell me what you guys think in the comments, man, because, uh, I really don't have any idea. There, there's so many possibilities just because people started getting killed in prison afterwards. I can't call it. Anyway, you guys, man, the way to avoid this, keep your family safe. Don't get involved with things like this. Positive lesson for you. Then do what you're going to do. But know the potential consequences of your actions. You always need to know. You always need to have foresight. Foresight's so much more important than that, so just saying. This is your boy Rojo, it's the Rojo Room. I'll hire y'all later.